Express your creativity to the glory of God. Enjoy watching. Hello everyone. Hold on, let me adjust the camera for a moment. Okay. So, tonight I'm going to do a DIY of making some coasters. Today, this morning, um, I brought my coffee into my workspace and um, I had a lot of stuff on the table. Now I don't, but earlier I did because I was like rearranging some things and um, I really didn't have any space to put my coffee cup but over here and um, or to just push some things back and put it here and I actually took a picture of it and um, I was like, you know what, I need to make these coasters. So um, instead of going out and buying some, I have I have some materials here and I figure I can give it a try. So that's what I'm gonna do um, in this video. I got these from Home Depot. They were free. As you see, they're all different. And here's, they're all different. And um, I got them a while ago because you know, you can get free um, sample paper from there. Um, you know, if you want to paint your house or something like that, you know, you can go get sample, um, paint, sample, um, paint samples. That's paint samples. And, um, if you want to lay towel, you can get these. These are free. They're samples, so you can see, so you can take them home and see. So I just had picked up a few of these samples, and I didn't pick it up because I wanted a towel. I picked it up because I knew it was free and I, I wanted to use them in something. Um, I think I was going to use them to make like stamps. Um, but um, I I don't know what happened during the time. Maybe it started working on something else so I just couldn't get to it or whatever. And um, so I had, I, but I didn't throw them away. I did um, some decluttering since then, since I picked these up and um even recently and um but still i just was like i'm not gonna throw these out because i can use them for something and they don't take up too much space so right now what i'm doing is i'm taking the backing up off of it and i initially was going to make the coaster on this side but then i said you know what um i don't have to do too much to this um if i leave this side alone Right, I think somebody could even put felt here and just put it down and use this as a coaster, just as it is. But um, I do have some paper that I purchased. Let me turn this down some. Yeah, I do have some paper that I, I bought from Blick um, this summer. I can always wipe this off, clean this off. Um, I'll probably get a baby wipe and get that off, the rest of that off. Um, yeah, I got this paper from, from Blick. It's so pretty. I'm going to show it in a minute after I take the back end of this. I think I already took the back off this one, this one. So let me pause it, take this off, and then come back. Okay, I'm back. So it was a struggle to get um it off, this one and this one. And I am going to do them, but at a later date. But I, cause I was like, this is taking too long to come off. But then when I thought about it, I said, wait a minute. I initially only really wanted to do two coasters. And um, I want to use these. Um, these two. I like these two because of the texture and the color. And um, I prefer these over these two. So I can always wait to do these later. So I'm gonna put them to the side, and so so I'll, let me go over the, what I'm gonna use. I probably already listed it, but still let me show it. So these two sample towels, I'm gonna use some gold acrylic paint. I'm gonna use this foam brush. I'm gonna use this gloss Mod Podge the turbo tacky glue 
a multi-purpose sealer. Um, I do need to use um, a paintbrush, my heat gun, let me move it around, stretch it over, my heat gun, I'm going to use that. Um, to make the design, I need to use this paper. I'm going to use this paper. Look at this paper. I really like this. I got this on sale from Blitz, Blitz Store. Um, I forgot what kind of paper this is called. It's probably here. Hold on. So I can tell you what kind of paper it is. It's Nepali's. Um, Nepali's Gold Body. That's no, it's not saying the kind of paper though. I don't know what kind of paper this is. I'm so sorry. But it was $6.49 and I got it on sale for $2.49. This is a pretty decent amount. You know. I just like I like the gold on this balloon. It's pretty. And so and I have some foam. Some foam sheets. So First thing first is I want to make some pieces to go, some, some foam. I want to make some, not feet, but just like some tabs to go on the back so it won't be so flat. And um, at the time when I thought about making this, I thought this was a little bit heavier. So I was thinking about if it the glass or on a ta any table I wouldn't want it to scratch so that was my first um, thought for putting the foam tabs in the corners but now I see that it wouldn't cause any harm however it's still you know roughing up against the glass and it's just so flat so this would give it some height okay so hold on So I think for the rest of the video, I think I'm not going to talk through it. I'm going to show it, but I'm going to play some music because I really don't feel like talking the entire video. Um, I just want to listen to some music and be quiet and work. So um, I pray this blesses someone who's ever watching. Maybe I'll give them an idea to do something different. Um, maybe use the same idea. And... Um, and or just maybe tweak it to suit your own needs. So, all right. So, that's it. Enjoy the process. God bless you. And remember, Jesus loves you. All right. Here we go. Okay. I had to come back because I forgot to show an item that I'm going to use um, to cut out um, the paper. Um, well, actually, not cut out the paper, but I'm going to cut out the paper in the heart shape. So I'm going to use this as a tracer, and so I wanted to mention that um, before I started the pro before I start the process. This is actually a cookie cutter. I got this from Michaels a long time ago. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So enjoy the process. <laughs> bye bye.
have to dry a bit. Um, I use a multi-purpose sealer, but I really like it. And um, I'm gonna turn it over. I'm gonna clear off the back some. This is the back of them, right? So you see when I put it down, it's soft, and I can put my coffee cup on it. I won't have to wait till it's dry. But at any rate, in another video, maybe I'll show my coffee on top of it. But for now, that's it. I'm going to take some pictures and upload this video. I'm very pleased with it. It was very simple to do. Easy to do. And, um, yeah. Look at that. And I'll have to go out and buy any coasters. I guess you can even make, you know, coasters with cardboard. So maybe I'll probably do that at some point. Um, we'll see. But, um, yep, that's it. Alright, well, I hope you enjoyed. If you like what you've seen, please like. If you think it can help someone, please share. And if you want to see more content, please subscribe. God bless you and remember Jesus loves you. Bye-bye. Express your creativity.